Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Uh, today my theme is how to end frustration in life. And I will be using uh, Luke chapter 5 uh, from verses 1 to 7 as a foundation for my teaching today. Luke chapter 5, reading from verses 1. So it was when the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone out from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon Peter's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toyed all night and have caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled their boats with fishes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, Peter was a businessman who went to sea for fishing and caught nothing. There come a time in life or in business where you will get stuck either through policy or through economic challenges or through natural crisis. Just like the COVID-19 pandemic have caused the world economic system to cease and stop and every nation around the globe faced frustration. Uh, this is because when things are not progressing in one's life, frustration will set in. For instance, your children have gone off the rails. Your marriage is failing. You are in danger of losing your home. Your business is failing because you are not making sales. A new policy is threatening your business. Peter got to the point of frustration and he did three things. The first thing Peter did is that he gave his boat. You see, in the kingdom business, you can never come out of frustration except you give. God will never Take the next step in your life until you release what is in your hand to promote his kingdom. The first thing you do during frustration is that you give. You must give to promote the kingdom of God. You must promote the kingdom of God with what is available during the time of frustration. And the moment Peter gave his boat, he created the opportunity for his breakthrough. The moment he gave his boat, Jesus gave him an instruction. Second, giving opens the door for divine instructions. And if you ever want to come out of frustration, then you need a divine instructions in order to come out of that frustration. Don't expect God to give you money when you give. Rather, God will give you an instruction to get the money. This is where a lot of people miss it. You see, Jesus did not give Peter money, but he gave him an instruction. There are two cases in the Gospels 
where Peter was frustrated as a result of failure at sea, where Jesus gave him an important instructions. One of them is recorded in Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 7 where Jesus told him to cast his net into the deep. That was an instruction. In their second encounter, Jesus met Peter again in John 21 verses 6 and he gave him another instruction. This time he said, cast your net to the right side of the boat. Here we see Jesus giving specific word of instruction. And in our dispensation, Jesus is no longer with us. So don't expect instructions from Jesus, but expect instructions from the Holy Spirit. In Genesis 22, Abraham also had the same issue. As a businessman, he got to the point where he wanted to move to the next phase of his life. So he had to give Isaac as a sacrifice. Then God gave him an instruction. The moment Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice to God in his heart, God gave him an instruction and he said, turn and look. There is a ram. Go and take him and use him as a sacrifice. And Abraham's life changed from that point on because God swore by himself to bless Abraham and to bless his descendants. Therefore, when you give, the first thing that you should expect from the Holy Spirit is an instruction. An instruction is what will end every form of frustration and crisis in your life and business. The mistake many Christians make is that we pray for God to answer our prayers. We don't pray for God to give us an instruction. And that's where we miss it. You need to change your prayer strategy. From now on, when you pray, pray that the Holy Spirit will give you an instruction. And once you get that instruction, you will be out of that challenge. You will be out of that frustration. You will come out of that crisis. And to do this, you need to understand how God speaks to you so you can position yourself to hear him every time you come to the point of crisis and frustration in life don't pray for breakthrough pray for the holy spirit to open your eyes give you insight and give you an instruction that will help you come out of that situation if you are stranded in life, it's either you have not consulted the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, but you are not paying attention. So you don't hear God's voice. Because even when the Holy Spirit speaks, because we are not paying attention and we are not sensitive to the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We don't even know or realize that the Holy Spirit is giving us an instruction, a vital information that will help us come out of that situation. By the power vested in me as a man of God and as a person ordained in the apostolic succession, I declare that every form of frustration in your life comes to an end immediately in the mighty name of Jesus. Your prayers from this point on should be prayers of inquiry. You need to ask God, Lord, what do I do next? 
And God will give you an instruction that will help you to come out of that crisis and that frustration. How to end frustration in life and business. One, you must give. And when I talk about giving, I mean giving financially to support the kingdom of God. Giving financially to support the ministry of the church. Two, after giving, expect an instruction from God during the time of prayer. And three, if you look at the reading we had at the beginning, Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 7, when Peter caught so many fish, he signaled to his other partners in the other boats to come and help him. And when they came, they also filled their boats with many fish. In the Gospel of Luke, we learn that Jesus sent his disciples in two pairs, two by two. Therefore, when you become successful and you are out of your frustration and crisis, you need to invite other people. If you check all the major corporations and big businesses, they are not owned by one man. It is always in partnership that people thrive and become successful. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you for your message today. And we pray that your message has ministered to your people this day. We pray that you help us to give in time of frustration and crisis. And we pray that when we come to you in prayer, that you will help us to seek your guidance and instruction and also enable us to help other people who are in crisis and facing frustration to be able to come out of theirs as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear friends, don't forget to follow me on YouTube and TikTok. Share this message and I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>